Hi guys, let's discuss about the concept of cruciate hemiplegia. So we can have, see this image of pyramidal tract. We know that pyramidal tract crosses in the medulla. 80% of fibers crosses to the opposite side and continue as lateral corticospinal tract. So in that crossing, we have two types of fibers, upper limb fibers and lower limb fibers. Upper limb fibers are arranged medially than the lower limb fibers. And we have one concept where upper limb fibers cross at a higher level in the medulla here itself, whereas the lower limb fibers cross at a lower level in the medulla. This is the concept behind the cruciate hemiplegia. Now let's know what cruciate hemiplegia is. So here we can see cruciate hemiplegia. That is, whenever the lesion occurs after the crossing of upper limb fibers, but before the crossing of lower limb fibers, here we see that upper limb fibers have crossed and lower limb fibers has not yet crossed. So, for example, left-sided upper limb fiber and the right-sided lower limb fiber is affected. So, this will manifest as cruciate hemiplegia. So, we know what we now know what cruciate hemiplegia. So, if the left-sided upper limb fiber is affected, then we can see ipsilateral upper limb is being the affected whereas the right sided lower limb fiber is affected so the left sided lower limb is affected why here right sided upper limb is affected because here after crossing the left sided fiber after crossing it comes to the right side so the right upper limb is affected but here the low, uh, lower limb fibers have to be crossed afterwards after this only so the left sided lower limb is affected such ipsilateral upper limb paralysis and quadrilateral lower limb paralysis to, with respect to the site of lesion is termed as cruciate hemiplegia. We also have another term called Bell's cruciate paralysis. Here, the lesion is at the site of crossing of the upper limb fibers alone. So, both the upper limbs are being affected. This is called as Bell's cruciate paralysis. This is all we have to know about cruciate hemiplegia. Thank you.